Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is February 11th, and Barrow is coming to Earth Stranus Relay. He should be our new second, and maybe he'll have something good, as honestly, after the mess of an update we got on the 9th, if you've noticed, on the condition overload changes, as well as a plethora of other new bugs. It's... it's been a moment. Anyways, we're also on Twitch, so if you want to see how my builds are put together, the testing, the memes, and just a good time, make sure to stop by and drop a follow while saying hi. We've got big plans for the channel both on YouTube and Twitch coming this year. Don't forget, we also have our Discord, so feel free to join there to meet the rest of our community. It's linked in the description below as well as the pinned comment. Anyways, Barrow should be arriving any second now, so let's see what he's got. My latest safari in the void has yielded spectacular... Lunar Renewal Tiger Emblem and the Tiger the Sigil. This is for Lunar New Year's, I'm guessing. This actually looks pretty nice. This one more than... Oh, ooh, I can see this working on a Wukong. Alright, we've got the Gara's Immortal skin as well. That's probably one of the nicer looking Immortal ones, actually. A Prisma Shade. If you don't have this, make sure you grab it at least for the MR. Although the Sahasa, or I don't remember which one, but the Kubro that gives invisibility is a better procker for the that than the Prisma Shade. Although this does let you use weapon stat sticks that Kubros cannot use, so maybe that's viable to you. We got Scorch here. Prime to Magazine War. Okay, this actually has some uses in the current meta, so I would suggest picking it up. We got Prisma Arrows, purely cosmetic for your bows. Take it if you want. Prova Vandal. This is a really old weapon. It's pure electric. It's a little bit dated. It's... It's interesting, I guess. It's not that relevant in the, the current meta, but you could get some use out of it because of the main weight on electric. Otherwise, just MR fodder. I wouldn't say it is a big, big choice. Now, the Mirror Detron has kind of fallen from grace. It used to be one of the big ones that you would absolutely want to pick up because of the status chance being able to reach 100% before they changed the status system. This is much lower than it used to be. But we also also now have the Tenet Detron from Sisters now. So I'd strongly recommend picking that up instead as this one has been mostly just relegated to... MR fodder. It's still a pretty good weapon though, so this doesn't mean it's complete trash. It's just that the Tenet Detron is noticeably better. We got Prime Target Cracker. This is extremely important on pistols, both for crit and hybrid, hybrid build, so definitely pick this up. Prime Regen. I mean, so it's useful if you do shorter missions, so maybe you'll grab this one too. I do use it on mine. The Prime Edo Full Armor Sets. So the arms are actually decently nice pieces. You might want to consider picking it up just for that. The chest is very small and not that noticeable. So it does come around being handy if you want a more toned down kind of look. I don't really like the light plates though. I've never used them. The Mantis Prisma skin looks like this. There's Katir Sentinel Tail. Another Elixis. Oh, they got Sandana. That's back again. The two. The Atmos Diadem. This is actually kind of nice. Grab it if you want. Uh, did I miss anything else? Oh, Prisma Kubo Glyph, Lotus Ephemera, Scrawl, Chroma Mortal. And I always find his base skin looks really gross. This kind of reminds me of Zephyr's base colors. But yeah, also grab if you want. I'm not going to get it. Rex Poster, Garp, and Latrox, and the Sands of Inaros. Alright, chat. Next so this is a what Barrel want. brought I'm this sure week. It. It's, it's a little bit disappointing, honestly, if I'm not going to lie. But at least... He did bring something to celebrate the, the Lunar New Year's. As always, I will include console down in the description. If you haven't done it yet, feel free to hit that like button. Or, better yet, subscribe. Every little bit helps the channel. And feel free to check us out on Twitch or join the Discord community listed down in the pinned in description. That'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.